when you went through the dark nights of the soul, like did it feel like it was, oh, that's the dark nights of the soul? Because I had no idea that was happening. I didn't have a terminology around it. I'm thinking life is so difficult. And that forced me to go inwards. But you said, ah, I know what that is. This is the remedy. This is the protocol. Like how did it assist you in navigating or maybe it didn't assist that much by knowing it intellectually, but going through it is a completely different thing. You know, I did have a awareness of that terminology, dark night of the soul. And I had also had teachers and mentors who had gone through that experience, not the same way that I did, but I understood like, oh, there is a process where your life collapsed. And then on the other end of it, you're put back together and you're more wise and aware and in many cases awake. So I had an awareness of it, but I'll be honest with you and going through it, the intellectual awareness didn't really serve that much. It was, you know, a little bit of a framework that I could lean back on, but when your life falls apart and you're on your knees and you're praying to God, what do I do here? I'm completely feels like you are at some points of the journey, you're incapable of making a clear choice. And I'll just say that before this happened, I was very capable. I was very much in control. I was a director of a program. I knew exactly what was going on. And then, you know, one thing is taken away and another thing and another thing and another thing. And, another thing. and then you're just like a puddle on the floor and you're like, I don't know what to do. I completely lost. Apparently I'm not going to be writing this book anymore because now my life is in chaos, <laughs> you know, all these different things. I am writing a book, but it's a very different book at this point. But I'll say that when I got to the place of really, really deeply surrendering, that's when grace came in. And if I were completely intellectual place of holding on for dear life to, oh, I'm going through the dark night of the soul, it will eventually get better, right? If I'm holding, if I'm grasped, if I'm attached to that, right? I don't think that the doorway, the foyer of the temple gates necessarily would have been opened as much for allowing the grace to really come through. And when the grace started coming through in the form of deeper understanding, deeper healing, connecting to people who could really help me, and even more significantly, connecting to Divine Mother and Mary Magdalene and Yeshua and Kuan Yin and all those that started coming through, I'll just say that in that process of having this experience, that's when the dark night of the soul, the gold, the harvest really started coming through. So it was in that big surrender, that place of letting go even of the intellectual understanding of what was happening. 